All right, got U of A great Julius Holt here, a very prominent member of the Tucson community, does a lot of things for Tucson and the youth. Can you talk about just how this year has gone for TYFSF with the winding down? You know, well, the season's gone pretty well. You know, we've, we've done some exciting things, uh, you know, uh, a lot of competition. Mm -hmm. Kids, uh, it's been very competitive with a lot of the different teams. Uh, uh, like today, after the banquet is over, we're, we're going to sit down because we've got some three-way ties in certain age groups. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as the, uh, the season goes, we've been doing pretty well and doing really good. One of the things I'm excited about, though, is on Wednesday nights, we've been having Wednesday night football, and that's taken off. I mean, we the kids have really got bought into it. The parents have bought into it. And it's given some excitement to everybody. Can, can you talk about your role and what that's meant to you, being part of all this? Well, my role, you know, as being the president of Tucson Youth Football is pretty is special to me. You know, it's, it's difficult for some people to understand. Mm -hmm. Some parents sometimes don't get it because you know, they think I'm the problem solver or the, the fixer. And it's not like that. I'm in it for the kids. I do it for the kids. And football is a physical sport. You know, so every opportunity and every chance I have to give back, that's what I do. I do, I do my very best to make sure I'm working with the kids as often as I can. I get out to all the games. I get out to all the fields. Uh, I try to meet as many coaches and presidents as I can. I try to go to as many meetings as I can. But it's been a joy. I mean, it's, it's, it's been very special. It's been a lot to me. I've seen you even sell tickets at, at a, or sell t-shirts, I'm sorry, at yeah. events. Uh, so you're very involved. Oh, yeah. Uh, why, why is that? What, what makes you want to go out there every weekend and be part of that? Well, you know, I want us to be successful. I want, I want to try to put a good product out there. And, 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 and let people know that, you know, this is a good thing for our kids. It keeps them off the streets. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it allows them an opportunity to do something else with their time. They learn some skill building, uh, social social building things. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. I mean, at the end of the day, not, a lot of these kids aren't going to play in high school. And they're not going to play in college. But the experience that they're going to have at the youth level is important. Because they're going to build relationships that are last a lifetime. And that's what we try to do, create memories. Do you remember being at that age and playing that young? Or when did you start playing football? I started playing when I was about six or seven. Oh, okay, so about the same and, it, and, I, and some of the guys that I played with, we ended up going to high school together. And, and we played other sports together. And we had a great time. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we still keep in touch to this day. So how important was that then for your development to be part of the team aspect that young to get involved in football? Well, it taught me some things about myself. It taught me about how I needed to be more connected to other people, mm -hmm. how I needed to be more understanding of other people. Mm -hmm. One of the things that it also did is kept me off the streets. Growing up in the inner city of Washington, D.C., having those extracurricular activities like baseball, basketball, football, swimming. Yeah, I swam. It, it, <laughs> kept, it, it kept me busy. So I, I didn't have a lot of idle time to get myself in trouble. There was actually swimming in D.C.? Yeah, we, uh, my high school had, my high school might have been one of the only high schools in the inner city that had a pool, indoor pool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Now, I talked to Bam McCray a little bit about the all-star team that's coming up. Right. Can you talk about that, how it's a little bit different this year with him being pretty much on the outside looking at a lot of talent this year? Well, what we did this year, you know, years passed, and no pun intended to any of our coaches that have helped us out in the past, mm -hmm. we've selected coaches from within. But there was a lot of controversy, you know, daddy ball, right. too many kids from one association. Right. So we went outside the box. Mm -hmm. So we had a couple of guys apply for the job that were outsiders. Mm -hmm. But they still went through our certification process, and they did everything that we were doing. And what ended up happening was uh, we were able to pick Bam. Mm -hmm. And Bam's picking his own staff. We normally, on the first day of trials, have like 15 kids. We had 85, 86 kids show who signed up. We had 72 kids attend the first practice. Mm -hmm. This morning we had another 70 plus kids attend. Mm -hmm. So it's it's being received really, really well. And you know, and, and like I said, Bam, he's all in, and he's doing what he needs to do to get the job done. Right. And what's what's interesting is we've seen like the B. John Robinsons, the Lathan Ransoms, come up uh, before that, Kadeem Carey, and all that. Uh, you you're going to see a lot of those type of kids. Be like that, but then, like you said before, not every, not every one of these guys is going to play football later on in life. So, you got both of those things going on, and it, it's, it makes it all worthwhile, right? And we've got some special kids. There's going to be some kids that are playing in our 13 year program that are eighth graders that are going to be freshmen in high school, right? And some of them kids are going to make varsity. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sitting here 
you know, blowing smoke up nobody. But we got a few kids that's going to be, that's going to turn some heads at the next level when they get to high school. And, you know, I try to tell people all the time, you know, sometimes we don't get a whole lot of credit at what we do at the youth level. But it's a foundation. We might not be teaching all the, the techniques and the skills, but we're teaching the basics. Right. And we're, we're, we're coaching the kids on their talent. Mm -hmm. And then they go to the high school. You know, my biggest, my biggest thing is I, will, I wish the high schools would get more involved with us from a perspective of not ch overcharging us to use their fields. I mean, because some of our associations can't, use, can't afford to use their fields on Saturday. And I have a difficult time with that. I think it should be something that should be Donated, donated. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, it's, and they should because most of our kids end up going to those high schools. Right. So if I'm a go, if I'm playing little league sports and I end up going to your high school, but then my association has to spend fifteen hundred dollars to play on a Saturday, I don't see the I don't see the return value. Right. You're getting the return value because you're getting our kids at your high school. Right. Now, I, I, Bam said that the team can go up against any JV team right now. Most you know JV what? teams. That, we have a line, I think we have 26 offense line, and of those 26, you know they average about 6'2", six, six probably about 250, yeah, 260, that's what he was saying, yeah. some big boys, yeah. some big some big kids, and they got some really good skill players. I mean, we got some programs that have some really good quarterbacks, some really good running backs, some good defensive backs, and I would agree with Coach Bam, there's some JV teams in Tucson that our 13, 14 year team could beat and play with right now. Julius, I appreciate it. I know I speak for Tucson to thanking you for all that you've done in, in this role that you have with TYFSF. And, you know, good luck to your daughter and your son, for, yeah. you know, your, your wife. What a great family for Tucson. So I re we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.